turning Mel Tucker into a skid mark. Yeah, man. I, 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 nobody is afraid of Mel Tucker at this point. Now, I will say, early mistakes. Early mistakes. I don't know what was going on in the game before. Um, the pick six miscommunication. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll chalk that up to miscommunication. Uh, Travion looked good. However, his injuries continue to be a problem, and I don't know what we're going to do about that. I mean, at this point, I don't know if Mayan Williams is just the guy or or what. He didn't play yesterday, right? They 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 rested him. I think okay. they they said it was a, Jesus an Christ. actual injury, but I think they rested him. Shitty times in Lansing, boy. You're, they're they're resting RB one on the road versus you RB two. Mayan is RB two. No, Mayan is RB one. He's he's. This he's year performed, he's RB one. He's performed better, but I definitely mean, literally RB1. on the depth chart. I think he's RB two. Fam, I get what you're saying. I get what you're <laughs> saying. Uh, if he RB two, there's something going on. There's something wrong going on. I think there. it's the injuries though. Travion the is injuries to Travion. Yeah, right. So yeah. that makes Mayan the decided number one because the best ability is availability, and your man ain't been available <laughs> but uh, two full hey, quarters all season. Fair enough. If it wasn't for his injury problems, we wouldn't be down to Don Hayden. I'll say that uh, your boy Marvin Harrison Jr. looks like a man. He, he looks definitely like a does. guy. He looks like he a does. guy. He does. Um, if he can just keep that Apple Watch at home. Taller dudes, 6'4", 210. Mossing people. Big guy. Big Ooh. guy, big guy. Multiple times. And and I think he's had multiple games with three touchdowns. Mm. So, yeah, he's he's definitely looking like a guy out there. Um, on the defense, Eichenberg, Ronnie Hickman, Mike Hall Jr., those guys are looking great. Um, <laughs> it still just boils down to cornerback play. I don't know how we address that either. And when it comes to better pass offenses, I'm a little I'm a little skeptical. Who's gonna be the first team that that really tests the metal of the Ohio State pass secondary? I would wanna say Penn State, but at that point we were we were forcing Sean Clifford to win the game. And do you think Sean Clifford is good enough to win that game? <laughs> I can see Sean Clifford. It, it, wait, it, where is the game at? Is it State College or is it's, that the it's at it's at Happy Valley? Ah, y'all got to go out there. They got to come to us next week. Great. <laughs> um, I I could see Sean Clifford limping his way, you know, over the finish line in a game versus y'all in his true old man fashion. But it, it would it wouldn't be anything short of that. Also, you know, Penn State has ability in the backfield there. You know, it's just they're going to be able to give their their guys enough space to do damage, I guess. I don't know if I'm as as afraid of Nick Singleton as I would be of just making Sean Clifford win the game. Like, I think our our, our rush defense is, is, is good enough to handle that situation, even if they give him 100 yards. But, like, but you know who scares me a little bit more than Penn State would be would be Maryland. I just okay. yeah. T Talia looks like he would probably put up a 350 yard plus game against our 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 cornerback. Yeah, and see they they're itching for that that signature win right now. They they're itching for that we have arrived moment. Yeah, and that would definitely be it. So if uh, Eli Apple over there, I mean Denzel Burke doesn't okay step his all right. Step his game up there. We may be looking at some exposure. But, no, I mean, all in all, I still think Ohio State, Michigan, man, two most complete teams. I'm sitting over here watching Alabama in the first half of that game versus A&M, at least for like a quarter and a half. It was just like <laughs> I, I, I don't know what type of explosion there is to expect from the Alabama offense this year. 